Okay, so I'm going to do a super quick like review of work energy and um, the proof for kinetic energy. So anyway, let's take a look at this. First of all, what gives you the ability to do work? Well, or when you work, how do you feel? You get tired. Or if you, you know, maybe drink something, have work done to you, you feel better. Basically, that's because to work, you got to use up or you got to change your energy. Work is change in energy. Whoops. That is like one of the most fundamental things of physics. And that is called the work energy theorem. All right, one of the most important aspects of physics. Now, and this works for all kinds of energy. It could be like calories to whatever, but we're just going to be dealing with um, mechanical aspects of this. So let's look at just work like, okay, your job is to move furniture. You move furniture from point A or point X initial to point X final, or hey, wait, that's just displacement. Your job is to displace the furniture. So say you had a really, really... Let's think about this. You're going to obviously, to get the furniture to be displaced from here to here, you're going to have to apply force. You could say that the work that you do on this is directly proportional to the force you apply to it, right? Well, it's also directly proportional. Well, because think about this. Suppose you applied, it's a really big object, and so you applied a huge amount of force to it, right? But the object didn't move. You did no work. If your job was to like move the furniture, you probably wouldn't get paid or something. So work is also directly proportional to your displacement. And remember, I'm just going to do this this way, displacement. We're going to use S for that. Some videos, like the last video last night, use D. That's kind of the little kid way to do it. Let's use the big kid way of S for delta X or displacement. So therefore, another way to put work, to express work, is force times displacement. Now, I left this blank for a reason. Here's why. Suppose, see like this little situation here? Suppose the force, I'll do this part in red. Suppose the force were at an angle, some angle theta above the horizontal, right? Okay, so if this were some angle theta, this force applied to this over the horizontal, not all of this force would go into displacing it. Some of the force, let's break that up, force would have a force, this goes up and over. Some of your force would go into just kind of pulling it up, lightening the normal force or whatever, nothing we really were concerned about because it would be accelerating, therefore displaced this way. So this is, let's look at that, that's just force and it's closest to the angle, cosine theta. All right, so this actually would be work equals force cosine theta times displacement. So I'm just going to write that all next to each other. That's a mess. And if you remember, well, actually, let's look up here. Energy, picture holding a ball of energy, vector or scalar. Uh, most of you probably realize energy is a vector. Well, if work is a change in energy, not vector, I'm so sorry. Energy doesn't have really a direction. I mean, kind of, but not really. No, energy is definitely not a vector. It's a scalar. So... If energy is a scalar and change of energy is work, work's also a scalar. Now, you can have positive or negative work, depending on if work is done to something or on something, but it is still a scalar. So what you'd actually have to do is come over here and put all this as magnitude of. So you got this cosine theta, you got magnitude of, you've got two vectors that become a scalar. That's All this is a mess. There's an easier way to write this. You can just write a dot. This is why I don't like you to use the dot for the multiplication. Force dot displacement. That means two vectors that become a scalar and we just look at the cosine of theta on this force. That makes it a lot easier. So work can also be expressed as work equals force dot displacement. And guess what? If you're forcing an angle, you don't have to worry about the dot. You can just say force times displacement. All right, so that is work. Now let's, um, I'm going to stop that there and then I'll make another video.